It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Bash Cletus. We can still read your abilities, okay? We can still have. We can still take a little look see at what you got, my friend. All right. Aim shot is a 48-yard range. Holy moly. It's a powerful shot that deals 100 billion damage, approximately. Arcane shot. It does. It's also 48-yard range. I guess it's, you just all your abilities are 48-yard range. Is that, is that still your mastery? Increases your range and stuff. Yeah, the range of all shots is increased by a certain amount, and damage of all focus spending abilities is increased by 84%. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of damage. <laughs> that is spooky. <clears throat> anyway, you got Arcane Shot. It doesn't really... Oh, it generates 5 focus, okay. Aspect of the Cheetah lets you sprint around. Increase your movement speed by 90% for a little while and 30% for another little 9 seconds. So that's, that's 12 seconds of speedy boost. That's a 3 minute cooldown. You got Aspect of the Turtis. You deflect all attacks and take 30% less damage for 8 seconds, but you cannot attack. So it's like a deterrence. But it's a 3 minute cooldown, though. So you gotta use that wisely. Bursting Shot. Fire an explosion of bolts that strikes all enemies in front of you. That's a shotgun blast right there. Knocking them back and disorienting them and dealing a certain amount of damage. So it's like a big AoE conal disorient on a 30 second cooldown too. So you can like run up to people and like shotgun blast them and then trap them out of it. I don't, dude, actually, don't, I don't think this guy, I don't think these guys have traps, right? So I was the only one that has traps. Hmm. Well, at least you can do that. Concussive Shot is just a slow, it's on a 5 second cooldown, it slows them for 6 seconds, so... Basically, you can just press that every time it's up and you'll not really have overlap. That's cool, that's cool. Counter Shot, 24 second cooldown. Interrupts for 3 seconds, okay. Disengage, 20 second cooldown, you just hop backwards. Eagle Eye! I had a nerf gun called the Eagle Eye. It was dope. This changes the hunter's viewpoint to the target location. Only usable outdoors, last 1 minute. Acceleration is a gigantic heal every two minutes. It seems like everybody has like two defensive cooldowns. Like two of them, and that's it. And they're kind of on long cooldowns too. So you gotta make good use of them and not overlap them. You feign death, every, this is a 30 second cooldown. Wow, you can feign death every, what's the cooldown feign death now? That's, that, that seems short, I don't know. It's cool. Flare, you still have flare. It's a 20 second cooldown, all right. Mark shot. This one seems pretty fun. You rapidly fire a shot at all targets that are affected by Hunter's Mark, dealing as much damage as an aimed shot. It also exposes vulnerabilities in the target, snaring them by 15%, and increasing aim shot damage done to the target by 25%. Lasts 30 seconds and stacks up to three times. So... That could potentially increase the amount of damage aim shot does to you by... 75%? That's cray. Hey, Corsus, game's on. Hit him with flex for two months in a row, man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. Misdirection. This is a 100-yard range. Misdirect threat on a Raider party member, so you can kill your friends with misdirect. And when you're bursting, you can call. Multi-shot. Fires several missiles. Hitting your current target and all enemies within eight yards. For a certain amount of damage, in each target hit generates two focus. So not a huge damage ability, more like a focus generating, generating ability. True shot, it's, this is a three minute cooldown. So it's a long cooldown, but it increases haste by 100% and chance for mar for targets to be marked by 100%. Okay, so it guarantees marks for 15 seconds. So you can stack it up and aim shot pew pew, which does a lot of damage. Bombardment is a passive. Your critical strikes with multi-shot cause your subsequent multi-shots to cost 25% less focus and cause 60% additional damage for five seconds. So it's like, I put like, it puts like a bleed on him, I guess? Or, no. Maybe. I'm not sure what the additional damage means. I, maybe it's just after a crit, you do 60% more damage with multi-shot. For five seconds. Maybe that's it. The multi-shot is just is this one, so it's not like a huge damage ability anyway. But you can just do tons of AoE if you need to. Hunting party after killing a target, the cooldown of acceleration ooh, is reduced by 30 seconds. So, when you're out there killing mobs, you'll be able to heal yourself for a big heal more often. Unlike other hunters, marksmen prefer to pure, prefer to rely purely on their skill and aim rather than be assisted by a bestial companion. So, Boomer's gonna be sitting at the house if you want to play a marksmanship hunter. 
And of course, you have seek vulnerabilities. Your arcane shot and multi shot have a chance to apply hunter's mark, marking the targets for marked shot. Okay. So, like, you're gonna be doing a ton of multi shotting, randomly marking targets, and then you're gonna be marked shotting and exploding them. Hog champ. That's pretty cool. They don't have, like, too many abilities. That's good. Keeps it simple for a noob like me. Alright, we can read the talents, too. Alright. So you have Black Arrow. So, the hunter that I play with in 3's lot, SSDS, said that they pretty much combined old survival with marksmanship. And I guess this kind of makes sense, right? <clears throat> Fires a Black Arrow at the target, dealing a certain amount of damage over 26 seconds, and stacks 3 times and has 3 charges. It's an 18 second re recharge. Costs 40 focus, though. So... It's a lot of focus. Steady focus using arcane shot or multi shot twice in a row increases your focus generation for or by 20% for 10 seconds. Okay. True aim for every successive arcane marked or aim shot used to attack the same target, those shots deal 2% more damage to the target. Stack up to 20 times. Huh. Interesting. So. Could you, could you arcane shot to stack the true aim buff and then aim shot and mark shot? Wait, once it's like a 20, 20 stack buff. They have a lot of these, th these marksmen do have a lot of these sort of increasing the damage of your, of your shots stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we have, po oh, just kick me out. Cletus, get back in there! We're looking at your talents. Get back in there! Solid four abilities. Had a little bit more than four, but maybe four big ones. Maybe four big ones. But that's pretty... That's pretty, uh... Standard nowadays for Legion. Is you have fewer abilities, but those abilities are more unique to your class. And probably more important be able to use them properly, which could be pretty cool, I think. That's what I'm thinking. Ugh. Yo, we have 19 of those Bajira's Army shirts all sold already. Oh, baby. Good job, team. Keep it up. I'm glad you like them. I think that design looks really good. Dang, dude. It's the second time I've logged into Alpha, and it just kind of, like, spit me back out. I was like, okay. All right, Alpha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this Alpha someday. Maybe not yesterday, maybe not today, but someday, I'm a, I'm a play this dang alpha. Gotta go eat some dinner? All right, man, you get your gains on. We'll be here maybe for, we'll be, we'll be here for a couple more hours though, so. Finish dinner, and you're like, oh, I'm so full, I just wanna sit at my computer and watch some bearded guy play video games. I'm your man. But enjoy your dinner, my friend. With less ability, it's going to be easier for pro arena games to be called, perhaps, and it also might be easier for, for viewers to understand what's going on, too. Because right now, it's like, if you're not like a super duper WoW expert, it could be kind of hard to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But if it makes it easier for people who want to watch to watch, that's pretty cool. Okay, where were we? We were at post haste, huh? I'm going to read the, I'm gonna read the rest of the talents. This engage also frees you from all movement impairing effects and increases your movement speed by eight by 60% for eight seconds. Okay, so it's like a little freedom in sprint. Fire Strider, when any of your attacks cause a critical strike, there's a chance. The cooldown of disengage will be reduced by 10%. Oh. That's kind of fun. So whenever you crit. It says there is a chance. We don't know what chance what, what chance that is. And 10% is like what? Two seconds? It's cool still. Uh, the duration of aspects of the cheetah is increased by three seconds. So I always am really cautious about investing talent points for small gains on a very long cooldown. But you never know. Like if you're in like a PVE situation and you you like have to run from something and you always are just barely dying right at the end, like this talent might be what you need. But for PvP, I'm not sure about that. Oh yeah, I can actually probably talent a few of these. I'll try Black Arrows for fun. Um, out of these ones, Post Haste seems like fun. Ooh. This is a tough call, too. Because in, in classes where you have, like, a, a like a Rage Reese or something, 
you actually don't want to take too many new abilities because you have all this focus and all these new attacks take focus. So this one doesn't actually. But you just want to be aware of that. It's one of the things that happened with arms. Do I miss WoW? Who, me? I mean, I played WoW this morning. And now I'm playing WoW this exact moment. So currently, I, I feel like... I'm, I'm involved in WoW enough to not miss it terribly. But I do miss WoW when I don't play it. That's for sure. I think, I think WoW has a lot of room to grow as an eSport. I'm, I'm excited to see how that goes. And I think that some of the changes that we're seeing in Legion may actually be really helpful for WoW growing as an eSport. Anyway, let's go explosive shot. Fires a slow moving a slow moving munition directly forward. Oh! <laughs> I gotta try this. Activating this ability a second time causes the shot to detonate, dealing up to 100 billion damage to all enemies within 8 yards based on how close they are to the center of the explosion. That's kind of funny. Huh. I got to I got to check this out. This seems this seems pretty cool. Oh, what the what what on my other bar? Oh, whoops. Might be. I know I have unspent talent points, dude. I, I think I think exotic munitions would be so good. These towns are all cool. So exotic, exotic munitions is pretty much what it was before. Incendiary AoEs, poison ammo dots, and frozen ammo slows. Uh, trick shot. Th did it slow for 30% before? Because that seems... I don't know if it slowed for 50 before. Trick shot. That's kind of a funny talent. It's like it's going to ricochet. Aim shot will now also ricochet and hit all vulnerable targets for 30% of normal damage. That's funny. I got to try this thing. I didn't reactivate it, so it never blew up. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to stick with this one for now. That's funny. Uh, we have Binding Shot, Wyvern's Thing, and Camouflage. So it's two CCs or a, or a Stealth plus a, plus a Heal. That's kind of cool. Wyvern's Thing, 45 second cooldown, 1.3 second cast. Obviously, it's not going to put him to sleep for 30 seconds in PvP. This is, a, is this going to be a 5 second stun in PvP too? I'm gonna try this one. Five second stun? Whew. Yeah, frozen ammo, it, 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 it looks like it, if it's still in the game, it's been nerfed. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> how cool it, How cool is that gonna look when you, dis, when you disengage and fire a shot? I think so. Um, no, I think it'll be okay. Watch out. They're, they're going, they're both going. That looks awesome. All right, we have careful aim. Against targets above 80% health, aim shot, arcane shot, mark shot, and multi shot have a 20% increased critical strike chance, and those critical strikes deal an additional 20% damage over 8 seconds. Okay. It's not too bad. Did just Samson get out? Yeah. <clears throat> that's kind of cool. So it, it'll... That's, that's kind of already in the game, I think, right? Like, you open up with, like, a really nasty aim shot that that puts a little dot on him afterwards. If it crits. Okay. That's cool. Bad babies. <laughs> Bye. Heightened vulnerability. Your next mark shot also applies, or applies three stacks of vulnerability to all marked targets. I thought vulnerability was a mark, was, was marking, basically. Maybe not. So, arcane shot is the one that... Arcane Shot is the one that marks a target, or can mark a target, right? Hunter's Mark, marking for Marked Shot, which applies a vulnerability. Okay. Oh, I see. Marked Shot will apply instantly three stacks. Okay. Okay. This is a passive. Gain the patience of a veteran sniper, increasing your maximum focus by 30, and causing Marked Shot to apply Deadeye instead of Vulnerable. Deadeye increases... Your aim shot damage by 150%. <laughs> what? Let's try that. That sounds like fun. Murder. You have Murder Crows, Barrage, or Volley. So if those of you guys who love Volley, it's back. You can just AOE if you want to. 
Okay, so Crows is still there. Barrage is still there. Costs 60 focus. Does a million damage. Or volley. Okay. Dark Ranger. Your attacks have a chance to summon a Dark Minion. The Dark Minion will, atta will taunt and attack your current, tar current target for 8 seconds. Okay. Headshot. What the... A powerful shot which deals up to 100,000 physical damage to your target. And up to 50,000 damage to all enemies between you and the target. What the hell? 10 second cooldown, but it costs like all your focus. Jesus. Your ranged auto attacks have a 5% chance to trigger lock and load. Causing your next two aim shots to cost no focus and be instant. Dude. I gotta try all of these. What the hell? I just wanna see how cool this looked. Oh, that was so beast. The disengage explosion. Okay. So I have all these beautiful...